Hi guys, before we go back on the water with the rescue recovery boat I've made a few changes to the way the controls are set up. Originally I'd set up this V-tail mixer to mix the left and right motors so that I could control them all from the right hand stick um, forwards, backwards, left, right. And I've been sitting thinking about it and decided I'm wasting my time using the V-tail mixer. It really doesn't need it. So now I've got the left and right motors through the ESCs obviously connected straight to the elevator and aileron well port 1 and port 2 on the receiver channel 1, channel 2. So now if I turn it on, oh before we go there, I'll, I've kept the VTAIL mixer but now I'm using it to mix channel 3 and 4 which would normally be the rudder and the throttle but all I've got connected to it is my rotating fishing arm which is the one that has a neodymium magnet on the end to try and catch the boats that have got stuck and then I've used the trimming on my transmitter so that we can actually stop the arm swinging because what I found when I've been using it is it just gently moves off centre and by doing that it actually causes the boat to go offline. It doesn't take very much of a swing and the boat starts going in the wrong direction. So I'll just switch it on. You get a bit of a high pitched tone from the ESC's ringing the electric motors so you'll have to put up with that right first of all we'll try and demonstrate this fella and you'll see at the moment it's still it's not moving at all and I'll just do a little bit of a movement here and it actually stops in position. When I was just trying to control it directly from one of the options, rudder I was using, no I wasn't, I was using throttle up and down, um, it was difficult to get it to stop still. In fact, is that drifting? Yeah, that is drifting just a tiny bit, which I can adjust with the trim. So we'll give that a try on the boating lake, see if that's more reliable. And then the motors, as I say, they're now um, up or down, as that would have been with the elevator. It's just the left motor, forwards and back, backwards, forwards and backwards. And then left and right on the aileron is the right motor. So if I want to go full forwards, then it will be up and right, I think. No, up and left. I'll have to get that right, won't I? So that's full forwards. And full backwards, in that case, ought to be down and right. Yeah. And then if I just want to use the left motor, I'll go forwards and, forwards and backwards. And if I just want to use the right motor, and if I want to use them both, so I don't need that V-tail mixer in there at all. But it does have the right effect in deadening down the controls for this thing. If I use the trim to completely deaden the effect. So, that'll be the next thing. We've got our prop shafts and the motor shafts soldered together. You can see it's drifting a little bit now. Yeah. 
um, yeah, prop shafts soldered together, so hopefully they won't drop off the back. The only thing I'm worried about now is we might actually pull the propellers off the shafts now, because they're held in place with rubber tubing and hot glue. I don't know how good that will be. That's interesting, but that's just still drifting a tiny bit. Anyway, we'll give that a go.